Hey everybody, this is Gino Green. Follow me on Twitter at Gino Green. Here's your recap of Marquette's 70 to 52 win over Xavier. Enjoy, guys. A night where your team didn't play well collectively. You could hear Travis uh, talking to you guys afterwards. What was his message to you? Um, nobody's gonna feel sorry for us. We play Georgetown up next, and they're gonna come and try to beat us just as bad as Marquette did. So we gotta, you know, get back to practice and get ready for Georgetown. Actually, you did a real good job, I thought, on Howard, giving him a length, showing him, you know, uh, a lot of uh, strong defense. What kind of challenge is that to, to play an elite scorer like that? And what were you trying to do? What was kind of your concept as you went to the game? Uh, I was just trying to make him drive. You know, he's a very good three-point shooter. We all know that. Uh, hit some tough shots. He's a good player, like you said. But um, I was just trying to make him drive, make him finish over our bigs. Scoring game of the season by far. How, how were you able to get going today? Um, my teammates just got me put me in places where I can be successful. Uh, I just got to come out there and be aggressive. Uh, my main thing was just trying to respond, uh, try to uh, impose my will on defense first, first of all. Then you know when I get my opportunities off and just attack and do it there. So, uh, Sakar, so when when teams are game planning to stop Marcus, is that something you know? Seemed like he was looking for you right from the bat, and you could get going. You kind of take that on yourself sometimes when you see they're, they're devising a special defense for him. Oh uh, yeah, I mean basically it's on all of us. Honestly, you know, every, obviously every team is going to game plan to stop Marcus. Um, so yeah, every, every time I know uh, I have opportunities to be aggressive, especially if they're they're doubling or whatever, they're going to be uh, extra uh, aware to him. You know, so I just got to go out there and be aggressive. Uh, and just attack. Uh, I guess you know it took a while for the offense to get going. Sometimes dozens early games. And you guys were able to rely on your defense. What did you see defensively? You're able to shut them down. I think they didn't hit their first three pointer until six minutes left in the game. I thought our guys came into the game with a, a real defensive mindset. Um, I thought we competed uh, very well on the defensive end of the floor. I thought our physicality was good. Uh, overall, rebounding was good, and our ability to guard, uh, you know, one on one players. I thought we did. Uh, did a really good job defensively. They're a good team. You know, they have a lot of guys back from from a Big East championship team last year. And uh, our conference is competitive as ever. And to get a conference win uh, is like gold. So I'm proud of my team, especially on the defensive end. Uh, obviously, we can play a lot better offensively. Um, but winning with defense is OK. Steve, you mentioned about the rebounding. What about Ed Morrill's contributions, especially after Theo John <coughs> fouled out in the second half? Yeah, you know, I thought Ed, uh, especially in the second half, uh, really provided us a physical presence on the defensive end and uh, really made it tough to score in the paint. And they're, they're a team that really does a great job of scoring in the paint. And so his physicality, uh, the way he protected the rim, um, the way we guarded ball screens, uh, I thought he was very good in the second half defensively.